Right then, so second vid for the third lesson to do with parallel. And then we'll probably stop it and do collinear separate. Um, as it's a faffy. God, these loads. Absolutely loads in this one as well. Right, come on then, let's keep going. So remember, if two vectors are parallel, then one vector is a multiple of another. So A is 15, 6, minus 12. So look what we can take out as a factor. I can take out 3. So that's 3 lots of 5, 2, minus 4. B is minus 10, minus 4, 8. So see what you can take out as a factor. I can take out 2. Actually, I'm going to take out minus 2. I'm going to take out minus 2. So that would give me a 5, a 2, and a minus 4. There you go. Look at that. So they're both multiples, so both A and B are multiples of 5, 2, minus 1. So therefore, they're parallel to each other. Example 2 says, oh, we're out of time now. I might have to leave the call in here. Example 2 says, uh, find the values of B and C um, to make sure that the power are right. Okay. Um, oh. I've got the vector 2, 7, minus 3. I want to multiply it by something to give me them. So, what do I have to multiply the 2 by to make it into 10? Well, that's obvious. That's just 5. So, hopefully, I should be able just to multiply the B and C values to get it right. So, if I look in the J direction, I've got 5 times 7 is B. So, 35 is B. If I look in the K direction, I've got 5 times minus 3 for C, so that's minus 15 for C. <coughs> Do you know what? I might do the cold in here as well, the same bit. So I'm only two minutes into this one. <coughs> so collinear is if they're on the same line. Now they have to have, they have to be parallel and they have to have a common point. So parallel, common point, I'm just going to cough his bit. Hang on. Right then. Um, so what I'm going to do, if I choose P as my common point, then I want to work out the, the vector from B to Q. So that would be O to Q minus O to B. <coughs> Sorry. So O to Q is 3 minus 1, 4. Minus minus two one seven. So p to q is three minus a minus two is five. Minus one minus one minus two. Four minus seven is minus three. Now I'm going to do so. I've done p to q. I'm now going to do p to r. So p to r will be o r minus o r r minus o p. So p r. It's going to be 13 minus 5 minus 2. Take away minus 2, 1, 7. So P to R, uh, 13 minus minus 2 is 15. Minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. 2 minus 7 is minus 9. Right, so I've got a common point. I now need to see if the multiples are each other. So the common point is good. Now we need to check if they're parallel. Right. So if you look at P to Q, that's 5 minus 2 minus 3. But if you look at P to R, can you see that it's 3 lots of P to Q? So it's 3 lots of 5 uh, minus 2 minus 3. So because they're multiples of each other, it's okay. 
So, so since PR is three lots of PQ, must be parallel. Also share the point P, a common point. And point P, the writing's getting worse. And therefore, three dots, three dodgy dots. Therefore, um, the points P, Q, R. Collinear. Can't spell collinear then. I think it's two L's, one I. Uh, well, the L's and the I's all match together when you type. There, there we go. That's done. Six minutes in. I think I'm going to stop that and have a half turn. Right. See you later. Bye bye.